Hi, I'm Jimmy. I'm um, here talking to you today about the nature portion of our mural here in Cheltenham. Uh, basically, we did a lot of discussion with local groups, local councils about what was the most important things to show in this area. Um, for us, we focused on the history, which we'll talk about later, and the flora and fauna aspects of Cheltenham. We tried to include as much local reference as we can here. So all the, all the plants, all the imagery is all taken by us in this local area. Um, we felt that the, the ocean, the beach was so, such an important part of this area too, being a Bayside community, that um, we, we included this, this scene with Melbourne in the background, so then that ties it back into the city. We've got some native bees here. We've also got these wedding bushes. All these were found just over the hill there in the reserve. Um, so you come along, you've got Melbourne, got the West Gate, people enjoying the beach. Australian magpie, we've got some red wood, some orange fungus. So we've got our bundled guinea flower here, which is very prevalent around this area. Uh, we've got our gum trees, Austral bracken, we've got the pale mat rush here, which is also very prevalent in the area. We've got the native crested pigeon here, which is one of the major birds in this area. We've got a little blue tongue lizard down here. We've got the small grass tree. We've got the clustered sword edge. And then we come across here to our, our lovely rainbow lorikeet, which I'm sure if any of you are, are locals to this area, you've seen many of these around. They feed on a lo lot of the local fruits and things like that. And as we, we step back to here, comes into the, we've got the old man Banks here. Got our little friend, brush-tailed possum over there. Got a kookaburra up there. We've also got a tawny frog mouth at the top, which you probably can't see because he's camouflaged. We've got the noisy miner, which is uh, very common to this area. Not to be confused with the Indian miner, which is actually introduced, so this guy is native. We've got a red-backed spider down there, just hanging out on that tree log there. For us, it was important to bring some of the local nature onto this mural to try and get young people involved in their local surroundings, being able to identify the local flora and fauna in their area. Um, so yeah, hopefully this will lead to, to a bit more of an understanding about the local area and about what grows and lives here.